Welcome back guys. Quite a few people have been asking me to mix it up a little bit. Don't do all trains, you know, do some of the other stuff as well. So, we're going to focus on the roads for a bit. And you'll see up here, the um, these lines that were the cheap tricks have changed. They're no longer cheap trick lines. They are intercity bus lines. And we're going we're gonna to do them properly. In fact, I've already done them properly. It's so fiddly doing this stuff that it takes forever. I have spent the last eight hours on this stuff. And I'll show, I'll show you what I've done. And I, like, But it just takes forever to do it.
So let me show you what I've done. Um, I actually stopped because I ran out of money. And I've actually run it on like about, I don't know, six or seven days. Uh, and I got an extra million. Just so I could finish stuff off. I'll show you all of this stuff in a bit. I just want to like... I stopped when I was doing this bit because I think this bit's kind of cool. And this is a, kind of a good example of what I've been doing. Now, Aspatria, um, I need to hook the uh, the train depot up to uh, the rest of the industry because it only covers like a like a tiny, tiny bit at the moment. It covers just this, these buildings down here. Um, so we need to get coverage up here. So I've put in a bus stop up here. And then I was just kind of like messing around with the roads a little bit. And we had this road coming down here. And I was just trying to figure out, how, like, how can I get it to hook down here? So I put this little curvy bit in here, which um, which I pointed downwards. And then what I'm hoping is, um, if I take a... I did this with a medium street, didn't I? Yeah. If I take this road here and take it straight out there, I've also spent... 26 million, by the way, on, on just setting up these lines. Uh, and yeah, a, a few other things which I'll show you, but, but primarily on just setting up those lines. 26 million I've spent. Um, that is kind of a cool road. I like that. I like that a lot. And it's been little tiny details like this. This is where the, the time has gone. Um, I was playing around with this like for, I don't know, a few minutes trying to figure out exactly how I could like route this round and so boom in it goes but look at that that's another 250,000 <laughs> god it just flies the money just flies away and then if I was going to smooth the terrain a little bit which I have been doing and I suppose I will do again um, that gets even more expensive oh, we want to flatten that right down really Much nicer, much nicer. So a little flatten of that as well, make it look good. Cool. Awesome, awesome. Turn a bit more. There we go. Right, cool. So, <laughs> it's oh, awesome. It's this is Jamie Lee Curtis Road. God, how long has it been since Jamie Lee Curtis has been in a series? God, that's got to be at least two years since I've mentioned Jamie Lee. Why is this called Jamie Lee Curtis Street? Awesome curves. Right, so um, now we can finish this off. So all I need to do is put a line in. Do, 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 do. The, the thing is, I didn't even need to screw around with that road. And this has happened in like every blooming city that I've been messing around with. So let's put in that hooks up to that. This is the um, RF Aspatria Fuel Bosch, which I'm going to make red. I've decided the fuel lines are going to be red. And uh, this needs to be renamed to Aspatria uh, Truck Station, oh, which needs to be spelt correctly, Station. Uh, which is a road boom. All right, so that's that in. Uh, we also need a depot, don't we? Because there's no depot around here. Nope. Right, let's put it in a depot as well. Do, 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 do. Uh, what am I? Road depot, you idiot. Road depot. Road depot, which we'll just put next to the truck station for now. So, buy road vehicles. I think we probably want, we've got to deliver to quite a bit. No, but I would say a couple, probably, would do. A couple of DMGs. Yeah, one, two. Set line all. Uh, this is going on to Aspatria Fuel. Cha ching I haven't changed all the others to red yet, but we will get there. Um, okay, so that's that. But what I've also been doing, as I've gone around each town, is I've been hooking the roads back up. Because people have been moaning. God, so, you, you lot... Well, not all of you, but like a lot of you. God, you don't have to moan. Seriously, you should go and read the comments. It's all moaning. It's all like, you haven't done this. Can you do that? <laughs> it's like, I've had several people go, oh, God, this is driving me crazy. I don't even freaking notice it. It's driving me crazy. Hook the roads up. All right. Uh, let's, get, let's get the right type of road. 
So let's bring you... Uh, now, the thing is, I'm probably going to... I don't know. Um, probably, I don't, am I, I going to extend that? Probably am going to extend that. That's the only problem. All right, let's, um, let's not do that. Let's, um, let's take you back there. And what we'll do is we'll bring you across... Oh, too much slope. Yeah. You, you come across there at all in any way, shape, or form? Yeah, apparently not. Okay, let's try. It's fairly flat here. Well, like, you go across there. Oh my god, it will. Hooray. So, you can come around into there. And then a bit of a curve there. And then you can just hook up. Oh, come on. Go straight, damn you. You go up there and go into. Like, like, why won't that just go straight in? Like, seriously. Man. Like, why does it want to do that? It's really, really annoying. Um, see, now, if I bring a little bit out that way, like that, then it'll come out straight. Just one of the little things that I've been <laughs> learning as I've been spending hours and hours doing this. And then we want to just tidy this up a tiny little bit and get rid of that ugliness a little bit of smoothing there and there we go so that's that hooked up uh, that's hooked up into the town I've got to do this bit over here as well uh, God, <laughs> I've still got a bit of money uh, What's the best way to get this across? I mean, the best way to get it across is a bridge, but bridges are really expensive. I've put in some very cool bridges around the place, by the way, um, which I hope you will appreciate. Uh, why am I got? Why have I got flipping tracks? Idiot. Um, now I could just go like straight across like that, except that I've got too much slope. But like, I, um, would it do? Oh, actually. My God, you know, that's the first bridge that's kind of done what I wanted it to do. Ish. It's, it's coming down a bit steep on this side. Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll turn that into one of those. I quite like these green metal bridges. I've used stone bridges in some places and... Was, what should we have? I, I, yeah, I, I think we'll go with a modern bridge here. So what I've been doing in places um, is, is putting a bridge in like that, then take out the roads leading up to it, take this back a little bit, and then relaying the road and like either like raising it up a bit or like whatever to get like a, a fairly decent curve. And it looks a hell of a lot better. I mean, I don't, I don't mind that so much. It's that the ends are like way too steep. So just redoing the ends seems to make it all kind of bearable. So let's have you, come on, coming up straight, dammy. Thank you. Um, yeah, that'll do. And then you hook up to there like that. Alrighty, so now we've rehooked that together. I'll just redo this end. But this is where the time goes. You know, all this little faffing about. Um, which, like, you know, I mean, I love doing it. I, I, the attention to detail is, is kind of cool. It's kind of my thing. But it does take, like, a hell of a lot of time. See, that's that looks so much better now. And the, the, cur the, the curve of the bridge is kind of offset when you have smoother ends. It just looks so much better. But I... I I would have wanted to get that pillar in the middle. Now, like, to be honest, if you guys weren't here, I would probably have spent ages trying to get that pillar and that pillar, like, equidistant from that central pillar, but because you're here, I'll leave it alone. Right, um, get rid of the ugliness. And a bit there. Right, cool. So that's hooked out. What have we got left? We haven't got much left. In fact, I think the only things that we've got left now are the bridges over the river, which I took out like in at the beginning of episode one. Like everything else 
is hooked up now. Do you remember I said I was going to put in another stone bridge here? And I said I was going to put them across here, but I ended up putting them across there. And it took me ages to get this to look good. Nice, isn't it? I, I'm still tempted to play around with this end a bit to try and get it to have a little bit of an arch there. I, I, I might at some point, but it's it's kind of cool. Um, bum, 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 bum. Right, uh, that's that. What am I going to what am I going to show you? Um, oh, now I did. Do you remember in the last episode? I think it was the last episode. Um, when we came into the Chudley Valley. Is Chudley down here. When we came into the Chudley Valley, when we were riding on the train, um, when you came out of this tunnel, you kind of couldn't see very much because these sides were like quite high. Well, now, when you're down here, see, you, you couldn't see this at all. But as you come down here now, you can actually see the other side of the valley. Before, this this side was like like up at the height of these trees. You just couldn't see a damn thing. If I, in fact, if I turn this off, so that we can actually see the town. So, so as you actually come down the valley, and here, this was again, this was up here, so you couldn't see the valley at all. All you could see was like like a little bit of this mountain, and that was it. So now, when you come down, you can actually see everything, and it looks so beautiful. And then I've put in this um, this really nice bridge here, and I I did spend some time on this bridge. Let me tell you, to get it. Nice and flat and looking good and all the terrain looking nice. I, but this was the point where I actually ran out of cash. Because it took quite a bit of cash to uh, to get these, these sides down. But it looks so much better. This still, so this still needs to come down a little bit. Because I, like when we get to here, I want to be able to see the buildings. I want to be able to see the town. Actually, I've only got like 300k. Um, and I want to start putting some vehicles on here. So I'll have to do it. But look, it's like... This needs to come down so we can see some of the buildings. Um, yeah, so there you go. What it like? Well, have I done anything else cool up here? Um, that's the one we just put in. No, so the rest of it's all, all over here. Okay, so um, what started me off with this was I thought, all right, you know what? People want me to put some road stuff in. We'll put some intercity bus things in and I was going to do it in to be honest I was going to do it like in a fairly half assed way and I was just going like, to throw some stuff in um, and then I was like no nah, you know what let, not, let, let's do it properly um, so let's go and let's go and see what I've done so over here um, the, the, the Shepshed uh, Shepshed uh, Peace, uh, what is it? Peace Haven uh, Shepshed Peace Haven Sedberg which apparently is, 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 is all the pronunciation Nazis are out. Apparently, apparently pronounced um, Sedba. Is it Sedba? Yeah, Sedba. Apparently, the GH is silent. I don't know. I'm still going to call it Sedberg. I don't care. Um, I think it sounds better, Sedberg. Never mind. Um, right. So what I've done instead of having bus stops, because this is the, like intercity buses, I thought let's do it freaking properly. Let's have proper bus stations for a change. Right, and if we're going to put the bus stations in, let's put the depots next to the bus stations, so that like we make a bit of a feature of it. And I tell you what, later on, when I like when we get like like up to probably like 1950 or whatever, I've got some other mods for stations, uh, and we're going to kind of do like a bigger thing with, with with some of this. And also, I'm going to be putting trams in as um, local transport. I will put some local buses in, but I think it's going to be mainly trams. I'm going to do a lot more trams because I, I haven't done like that many trams. Um, except like, do you remember those um, those airport trams that I did in the, uh, in the European series? Oh my God, that was cool, wasn't it? Right, so um, I, instead of this just being from, it used to run just from um, Shepshed to Peace Haven to um, Sedba, Sedberg. Um, I put this road in going round here, uh, and I tried to make it like fairly natural, and uh, and put in a clockwise and an anti-clockwise. This is the only one that's got a clockwise and anti-clockwise. The other the others are all just like straight lines. So, um, as well as doing that, putting the putting the the bus station and that in, which of course is expensive because I'm knocking down buildings. I've also been spending time um, hooking up some of the roads. Uh, I didn't do much in uh, in Shepshed, to be honest. Uh, but um, I've been uh, upgrading the roads as well. 
So, like, the whole route on every single one of these routes has been upgraded to large roads, both the large country roads and large roads in the towns. I've also, for every city, checked the coverage because some of the towns have grown. I've checked the, um, I checked the coverage of uh, the industrial and I have moved one or two of the bus stops. So, of course, now we're not using these fuel bus stops. We've, we've got these, these bus stations in. So, for example, this one, you can see we've now got... I, I, I don't know if I even moved that. I think I did, actually. I think I did move that one. I moved quite a few of them. But, yeah, so we, we should have full coverage in, like, every city, uh, at least of the industry, for now. So, uh, so this is Shepshed. We'll have a, a very quick run round so that you can see the routes and what I've been doing and like, you know, where things were disconnected, I've hooked them back up and um, so Peacehaven and I've tried to, I've tried to mix it up a bit. Now these two are pretty much, pretty much identical. I've used the small bus station, we've got the, the depot right next to it, but some of them are like kind of quite different and I did play around with um, some of these routes and like getting these junctions to be a bit smoother and making sure that they didn't upset the railway tracks and all that kind of stuff. Um, let's whiz up to Sedberg and see now this one I've got the uh, the bus station this way and then the uh, the depot oriented behind it. Now that was because now I, I think I could have slotted it in there but it does horrible things to this road because this road is at an angle. It's sloping downwards, and if I put this, that there, then it just, there was a nasty drop here, which I've been trying to avoid. And that's kind of difficult in some of the towns. So, uh, you know what, wh while I'm showing you around, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to run this on slow, because I think it's kind of nicer when, um, when things are actually, actually running. Don't you think? You can actually see stuff going on. Um, well, the, the thing is, I really should put the vehicles on. Uh... Shall I, uh, shall I put the vehicles on? You know what? Let's do. Let's at least do this one. So um, we've got the Sedbud de Road, but de Road Depot. We've got the Shipshed Depot, and we've got the Peace Haven Depot. Now for this one, I think we're gonna have like roughly, um, kind of depending on the exact line. Probably going to go for about five vehicles per leg, because I don't want this like absolutely packed with vehicles. And to space them out, I've told them all. Now I wouldn't do this with local buses, but with intercity buses, uh, I think it's okay to tell them to to wait for a full load. Um, so I'm wait telling them to wait for a full load, but only wait for two minutes, right? Which is a, 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 like a pretty short wait time and it'll just space the buses out nicely so what we're gonna do uh, let's start off with uh, with Seb so by road vehicles uh, one two three four five you're gonna go on to the anti-clockwise route and one two three four five you're gonna go on to the clockwise route then same thing with ship shed post bus one two three four five set you on the anti-clockwise and one two three four five set you on the clockwise and finally peace haven one two three <laughs> not <enough> money <laughs> i've got to let it run because I, i'm up to I, i'm at my 10 million loan which we, we took out um, in the last episode so let's let it run Ooh. oh i've got half a million there we go uh boom well, that's five. Let's lift you up a bit so we can actually put you on the line. Put you on the... Uh, did I already do the anti... I didn't, did I? Uh, that's the clockwise. No, they're both the same. So, set you on the anti-clockwise, and then one, two, three, four, five, we'll put you on the clockwise. Now, what I do have to do is go to the vehicles. This will just sell. So, go to depot and be sold. And there isn't one on that one, is there? No. And while I'm doing it, I might as well do the other. So you uh, go to the depot and be sold. Yeah, I could replace him, but I can't be bothered. Uh, you go to the depot and be sold. And you 
go to the depot and be sold. Alrighty. Right, now. Now we can actually let it run. So, we're now down. First of the month, we're down two and a half million. Sweet. Ooh, look at all the look at all the vehicles coming out. So let's go and let's go and have a quick look at my I don't know. Let's read the yeah, look at Shepshire. Let's have a look at Shepshire. Um, let's close all the lines down so we can see the buses rolling out. And the buses will like head off to various different places, but wherever they're going, when they get to a to a station, they're going to sit there and wait, but only for a maximum of two minutes, which is um, which is really not a lot of time. My God, we've we've already got cash. Oh, sweet. All right. Ooh, they're all, where are you off to? Now, I have been like really good with like naming everything. So this is headed for Sedberg Bus Station. This over here is um, Shepshed Bus Station. So all the naming's been done and been done properly. Look at all these trolling off. Where are you off to? You're going to Peacehaven. Peacehaven. Yeah, they're all headed to Peacehaven. Right, while they're while they're trotting around, um, we'll we'll carry on looking around. So, let's go let's go and look at this line. Uh, now, Cheshire, you can see that I played around with the roads quite a lot because I linked up kind of this outside road and like extended all the junctions the way I wanted it to be. And um, now this one, I used a a large rather than the small, like just because it kind of fitted into the space. Like just, so I thought, like, what the hell? So we put uh, we put a large bus station in there, and then I slotted in the the depot behind with this little little bit of road. It was kind of the only way that I could get this to go in. It's not it's not the prettiest thing, I do have to say. Um, I actually relayed this road, and I didn't re re smooth this. So let's just smooth that corner off. It's pretty unsightly. There we go. Um, this I gotta say, not the prettiest one, but to be honest, one of the most interesting. And we can, and I have been, I, I haven't done this with all of them, but with some of them I've been going around and like putting trees in and things to, to pretty them up. Uh, we got room for, yeah, we've got room for a few trees along here. There we go. That'll probably even, yeah, that's, that's a, too big. Let's pop you over there. Come on, give me a give me a smallish tree. You go in there. No, it's only going to give me big trees now. You go over there. Ah, there we go. Um, let's have a, just a little tree in here. Oh, auto safe. End of the year. Oh, we've got over a million to spend. Hooray! There's much rejoicing. Um, you can go. Where can you go? You can go like just over there. There's a large one over here. Yeah, that'll do. So yeah, I've been doing all kinds of this kind of stuff around the place, I'm trying to start to make these things look a little bit pretty. Um, oh right, so here's one of the bridges that I put in. Ah, uh, this one was like a bit of a nightmare trying to get this to space out properly and have the pillars like equidistant and stuff on the curve, but I wanted that on the curve. Because I just I just thought that looks really nice. 